Today I'm going to show you how to operate a 600B night tube tester. This is the operating instructions that come with it. These are the tube settings for your amplifiers there at the drive-in movie theater. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the tube tester here with the switch. Pilot light will come on and then the needle for the um, tube testing will go to the uh, middle. First tube I'm going to test is a 6SJ7 tube. So the first thing I'm going to do is find that tube on the uh, tube line up here. It's kind of hard to see in the video here, but it's um, in the middle. The settings for the 6SJ7 are the A is 4, so we go over to A here, set that on 4. The B setting is 6.3. This is the B, the filament. We set that on 6.3. The C setting for the 6SJ7 is 66. This is the load. So we'll set that on 66. The next setting for the 6SJ7 is the U means up, and that'll be all these switches here. You have 10 switches, so it says that position 6 and 8 go up. And then the D is for down for the 6SJ7, that's 2. So on these switches, we move the 2 down. Then we take our tube and plug it into the socket that fits that tube which is here spin it around push it in the first test that we do with the tube is the um, short test we take each of the switches that are in the middle position and we move them to the up position and what will happen here there's a short test light right here which is a neon light and if there's a short it'll show short if we go back to the chart, it says for the 6SJ7 that the short test, the second column there, has a 7 in parentheses. So when we move the 7 switch up, the neon light is going to show a short. So let's go through and do the short tests. No short. No short. No short. Now that one flashes, that's a grid. When that flashes, what I usually do is I tap the tube and make sure that neon light doesn't come on. Now when we push 7 up, you can see the neon light comes on. 9, no short. 10, no short. The next test that we do is the, um, the value test. We take the value switch over here, push it down the value, and the meter will move from the middle to the good position. This is the upper scale that says replace on the left and good on the right. The last test that we do, if we look at the chart, way on the last column says gas. And for this tube, we move um, six down and then hit the value and see what the gas switch does. So we move the six down one position we move the uh, the value switch down to value and then the lower chart says good on the left for gas tests and bad on the right and you can see that it's going to the left to the good so this tube tests good the second test I'd like to do with the night 600B tube tester is to test a, um, a, um, a VR150 which is a uh, a gas voltage regulator tube because it tests a little bit differently than the uh, normal tubes. Also, when you test a uh, tube with a grid cap, this is the grid cap lead. It connects right here and the wire comes up. So you just take this uh, alligator clip 
and clip it onto the uh, the grid cap that'll be on top of the tube, like an 807. So we'll take this take the 6SJ7 tube out and go to the VR150 tube. The first thing we'll do before we test the VR150 tube is return all of the switches that go up and down to the middle position. The VR150 tube is um, um, here and its settings are 4, off, 30, 5. So A is 4, the B setting is off, the load setting is 30, and the up position is 5. And we'll go ahead and put the tube in to the socket. Now with this tube is you, you check the gas value. For this tube it says 3 and 7 for the short test. But if you move 3 down and then push the line value you'll see the middle move from the uh, needle move from the middle to the gas value of good. And if you look at the tube the gas inside the tube is in a glow. So for, for positions 3 down and 7 down, the needle is going to move to good for the gas test, and the tube is going to show purple. So for an OD3, this is how you would test it.